गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो बेटा वी वर डूइंग द टॉपिक दैट इज पंक्चुएशन एंड कैपिटल लेटर्स पंक्चुएशन एंड कैपिटल लेटर्स सो वी वुड बी कंटिन्यूइंग विद द सेम we have completed the chapter and we were doing the exercise uh we were on the exercise c we have done till uh, hmm she had been urging me to play chess with her so i suggested a game okay after a game we have to continue with it so the c part it would be after game she eagerly she eagerly accepted and we settled and we settled down to a most down to a most even and challenging and challenging match full stop it it was a school night however and at 9 o'clock at 9 o'clock my dad my daughter asked my daughter asked if i could hurry my moose because she needed to get to bed she had to get up at 6 in the morning please take down the screenshot so that we could continue with the answer please take down the screenshot students she eagerly accepted and we settled down to a most even and challenging match it was a school night however and at 9 o'clock my daughter asked if i could hurry my moves because she needed to get to bed she had to get up at 6 in the morning now please take down the screenshot okay now i am rubbing this off hope all of you have taken down the screenshot wait a second just a second students Okay I'm rubbing it off now
after she had to get up at 6 in the morning we have to continue with the answer only i told her come on you can go to bed a little later for once you shouldn't hurt sorry you shouldn't start games that you can't finish we are having fun finally she pleaded please daddy please hurry your moves i replied chess is a serious game chess is a serious game if you are going to play play it well you are going to play it slowly i told her come on you can go to bed a little later for once you shouldn't start the game that you can't finish we are having fun finally she pleaded please daddy hurry your moves i replied chess is a serious game if you are going to play it well you are going to play it slowly okay after slowly inverted comma close now all of you please take down the screenshot please take down the screenshot students okay beta now i am rubbing this off now we have completed the chapter that is punctuation and capital letters now we have to begin with the new chapter let me remove it is this first another chapter is spellings
ओके सो वॉट आर स्पेलिंग्स द इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज इज रिटन एंड स्पोकन एवरी डे एंड इट इज एसेंशियल टू यूज द राइट वर्ड्स टू फॉर गुड कम्युनिकेशन बट इट इज ऑल्सो ट्रू दैट न्यू वर्ड्स आर ऑफन इंक्लूडेड वेयर एज सम वर्ड्स बिकेम ऑब्स्टिकल विद द पैसेज ऑफ टाइम नेवर द लेट्स वर्ड्स आर एन इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ आर लैंग्वेज ऑफ एनी लैंग्वेज एंड दे शूडेंट बी spelt uh, and they should be spelt correctly and they should be spelt correctly so there are many words which appear to be confusing but if someone is uh, some some but if one is careful the most common errors can be completely avoided first one is committee okay uh so the spelling of the words that are mostly uh, that uh, makes people confuse about the spelling are given here committee association separate stationary stationary still okay one is uh, to be in a statue position still and one is stationary is pen pencil rubber toiletries kilometers 90 twelfth embarrass so if we associate certain difficult words with familiar words we can remember the spellings correctly for example stationery can be associated uh, associated with uh, stable and it means still in order to remain uh, remember height correctly we just have to add h before it and it is written as height the 40 is never uh, spelt as 40 one just has to combine for and plus ty so 40 is incorrect while 40 is correct so what is being said here that 40 is wrong and 40 is correct now the word 90 is 9 9 plus ty written together so 90 is correct the most commonly misspelt word is grammar remember the word has three pairs of letters a a m m t t so we should always write grammar and not grammar okay so what we should write we should write grammar but what do we uh, what do we write what is the incorrect uh, spelling to this it is grammar am i clear now the world committee has a uh, double m m t t e e so we spell it as committee similarly embarrass has two pairs of double letters that is what t t and s s other words which uh, require cautions are calendar mathematics pleasant government okay to write correct spelling there is hardly any strict rule in english however there are parents which give us an idea about the feelings of certain society some of those rules are disclosed below now first one no change in spelling is made when a prefix is added to a word like for example name legal comfort regular mature understandings in all these words what is being added
and how the meaning is changing or not named means unnamed legal means illegal discomfort uh, means discomfort irregular means regular immature means mature misunderstanding means understanding so in all these things up till now we are clear that we have to look uh, into the exercise uh, and also uh, we have to practice the exercise or the worksheets provided by me i hope it is clear to all of you the letter 4 is always followed by sorry the letter q is always followed by u the letter q is is always followed by u the letter uh, q is always followed by u now some of the examples so what are the examples like queen quaint coat uh quite quarrel so all these words uh, with q u is present now words ending in e so there are words that end with e when the suffix begin with vowel such as inning able ans ounce uh it is the it is added to a word ending with e we drop the e uh, if it is the final letter of the root problem so we have we drop e uh, if it is the final letter of the root word now some of the examples are uh, given here like argue so we have uh, we would be dropping the e it would become arguing uh, ride uh plus ing it would be riding ignore plus ans would be ignorance continue plus ous would be uh continuous write plus ing writing dine plus ing dining dive plus ing diving love plus ing is lovable so uh, uh by this we come to know that how we are going to uh, write the spelling of the words uh if we drop e uh, from the word uh, how we are going to write the spelling with uh, adding ing uh, a n c e o u s and able okay am i clear now uh, now another one when there is a c or g before the final e of the root word we drop we don't drop e if the suffix uh, we want to add to it begins with a able or o o u s for example manage would become manageable so uh, we are not dropping down e okay here we are not dropping e courage would become courageous marriage would become marriageable notice would become noticeable another one if we add a suffix that begins with a consonant we retail the final e for example use plus full is useful clue plus less is clueless complete plus ly is completely sincere by uh, plus ly is sincerely 9 plus ty is 90 now uh, two exceptions are being talked about whole plus true so whole uh, sorry uh, whole plus ly and true plus ly so it would become wholly in this we are dropping down e 
and uh, true would become truly in this also we are dropping down e in words like i see gently idly the final e in the root word is not retained so that what i am saying that we uh, drop down e now students we would be continuing this chapter in the next video till then bye bye take care